All right, so here's a short uh, update of what uh, has been going on with the Impala. I'm trying to take the carburetor out so we can uh, get to the bolts down there and just put some. Uh... Man, I just had it in my hand. Um, I don't even know where it went anymore. Oh, right here. Put some of this uh, ultra blue gasket maker multi-purpose um, on the bolts. Uh, it, I mean, you can see a little pool right there of oil. It's nothing crazy, nothing major. It's pretty, um, pretty normal with cars like these. I just want to make sure I fix it. I've never had a problem with it overheating or shutting down on me with vapor lock or anything. So, I mean, it's preventative maintenance, pretty much it, you know. But I want to get back there, take the carburetor out. Oh, I got two lines right there. You know, that's for the oil line, and then this is for the the water temperature. I'm pretty sure that goes there. Got to take that fitting out though, and that one's going to go somewhere in the back, and uh, I think there's another place down there under the brick, the block. I just got to make sure I um, I, uh, I I do some research, you know. I know it goes down, I just want to, you know, do the research, make sure it's good. Um, another thing that's another update, um, the seats are in. So that's the carpet. I mean, you can see my boot prints all over them, but I mean, it comes right off. Nice little cleaning. Um, but there you go, man. You have it. Sorry for the glare. But these seats used to be green. Now they're, you know, fully black. Black on black on black on Mexican blanket. You know what I'm saying? Good, good stuff. Nice. You can't mean it's beautiful, man. I don't even know if this car's gonna sell. But then you come over here. Then you got. I'm gonna sell the car. I mean, and then you got that. The doors. These doors are finally good. To the point where it's not rubbing at the bottom. I was having some clearance issue, but I mean, as you can see, it's all good. Um show you what it looks like from the inside oh and then here's the gauges I'm putting in so you can just check them out so there it is I mean the radio I'm gonna be ordering a radio pretty soon and I'm gonna get the, the classic look with the Bluetooth um, you gotta upgrade you know with the times uh, but this is what the doors look like nice and flush I mean, I need to keep that one open, but and then I have the quarter panels that I'm gonna be working on. I I have the material for the armrest. I just gotta get the armrest padding before I do that. And lastly, it's gonna be the roof, black. Um, I'm trying to get the black uh, vinyl top on here. Um, that's the last thing, you know. I mean, everything else is coming together. Again, I'm gonna get some black vinyl down here. Get like probably a couple inches of padding like a push board padding to get some like I'm gonna put two speakers back here um you know I got the stuff for this and I got the chrome pieces in the in the trunk for those I just gotta clean them out real good the chrome is always the last to go man to be put on I mean look it still has the hook for the for your clothes you know I gotta take all this off and make sure I clean it clean everything before I work on the the, the ceiling so up here I'm gonna in the roof the ceiling I'm gonna put the hush mats not the hush mat. Yeah, I think it's called hush mats for the um the weather. You know, this car doesn't have AC, so in the in the I don't drive it that much in the summer, in the, the heart of the summer, because of the AC. It just gets hot, man. I mean, from 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 home to work is fine, um, but going anywhere, cruising, you know, in the middle of the day, late in the afternoon, it's just not fun. Um, you know, I mean, it's always fun. It's just it's just hot, man. You don't want to take anybody in your car. Um, but uh, so that's gonna definitely help with uh. You know, because uh, with the with the heat, you know, I heard it's about it'll help with the difference of like 15 degrees. Um, and I also have hush, you know, the mats on the floor, and then these the carpet has a temperature, you know, or sound density mat, so that helps with that. And I mean, it's come together little by little. It's taking me a while. You know, I've had the car for a couple of years now, and um, I mean, I can't believe that it might be selling soon. You know, honestly, I have a couple of interested, very interested buyers. I have one here on base. I work at a Coast Neck Earl in New Jersey. So I have a couple of people here that are really interested in it. Um, and uh, I mean, they've been, they seem really interested in the car. And I mean, I'm not trying to lowball myself. I'm also not trying to, I'm not being stingy. You know, I know the car could probably sell for 22 even. Um, but uh, right now it's going for 20 and I'm okay with that number. And I'm just trying to, you know, learn as much as I can and fall, you know, I've been falling in love with the car all over again. The more work I do, you know, kind of sucks. That's how it works. Um, but again, there's, uh, there's this. 
need to see me, but got this. I mean, it does, this doesn't need to be in. It just adds, you know, some color to it and some texture. Um, but uh, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Let me know. If you guys just want to say what's up, say what's up. Um, so I was putting in these gauges, and I got a really a pretty bad kink in the uh, oil pressure, oil PSI hose. So I need to go buy another one. I mean, I might not need to. You can probably see the kink from here. It's right there. It looks ugly, man. So I'm gonna go to the shop, to the I mean, to the AutoZone or Advanced Auto, and try to find another line. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I mean, just finish it off, and then uh, obviously you gotta get the power one for the 12 voltage, for the consistent 12 voltage for the battery, and just wire it to the positive. And I mean, it's honestly just add the little the little light bulbs in there, and it's pretty much it, man. It's easy day. I haven't driven the car for about three weeks now. I'm kind of been itching to drive it, but I mean, it's for a good reason. I'm trying to, uh, you know, upgrade it. I mean, the doors just look beautiful. I can't believe the doors are finally in. Um, yeah, again, you know, just here for the love of the car. You know, if you have, have any questions, let me know. Peace out, YouTube. So we're getting ready to install this. These gauges. So the 1963 Impala came with four instructions. Um, to start off with the oil pressure gauge instruction, telling you how to hook it up. I'm gonna try to go step by step with everybody, with all of them. Voltage meter and the water and oil temperature gauge. And this one is a general mounting instruction. So I mean, the first thing I want, I'm gonna do is obviously go over the instructions, see what I need. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just gotta find out where everything's gonna be going it looks like this is what it looks like when you open up the when you open it up um, so obviously these are the light bulbs for the light so just put them to the side make sure they don't break this one so let's, let's look at it again that's the temperature that's the volts and that is the oil psi so we're gonna go over to the Impala and see where we're gonna mount them. Or we're gonna be where they're gonna be mounted at. So uh, I'll get back to you guys when I'm uh, in the car before I run the wiring. So here we are in the car. I got it out of the box. This is what it looks like. This is what it's gonna look like. Probably gonna put it right here, right under the stereo, the radio where it's gonna go. Um, as you can see under here, there's already some pre uh, drills or holes. Um, the best thing we can do, before, you know, so we don't make any extra holes, is just just try to match them up. Hopefully, somebody's done it in the past. If not, you might have to drill one or two holes. Um, but I'm gonna want it right here. Yeah, I'll probably right here. Um, let me. Uh, that's what it's gonna look like. Oh, sorry perfect and hopefully it comes out good um and then the second thing you want to do is uh get up under here and look at where you can run stuff as you can see it's pretty solid um i'm pretty sure if i remove this uh i, I don't know if you guys can see oh, i can find some ways out of here it's probably gonna be that way i'm gonna run everything to the left under the column I really don't want to remove this. Uh, it's electrical, I think, under there. Um, yeah. So it's probably gonna everything's gonna probably run to the left, to the firewall. Let's go to the front of the car, to under the hood. To see. Oh, there you go. So there's nothing there. No holes there. See that there so this is a hole right here that's perfect it's gonna probably everything's probably gonna get right under there so it's on the way through it's right there yes I have it right there so we're gonna start off with the water and oil temperature that's what that is diagram one captive fitting which is two which is right there 
and then the cable connected. All right, so then the next thing we're gonna do is um, find out where it's gonna go. I'm pretty sure it's gonna go right there, but just to verify. Um, just diagrams, crimpers and stuff, or electrical gauges. That's not, we're not there yet. It's already been connected. All right, so we got the, that one through. Now we're gonna work on the oil pressure. I wanna get all my wires wired out or laid out before I do anything. So just read the diagram, it's pretty simple. That one is the adapter. That one is the engine fitting. That's the fur, fur rule. <laughs> and that's the hex nut and then here's the tubing. And then you just put it in like that. And this is, gotta make sure that this goes through that. The fur rule, the fur rule. Um, nice and tight and then we'll go from there.